Welcome to a new series here on PX1 Sports as we will be taking on NBA 2K17's My GM Mode. Four new expansion teams joining the NBA this year as we have the San Diego Surf, the Seattle Supersonics getting a rebirth there in the Pacific Northwest. The Baltimore Barons will be joining in the Atlantic. And then the Cincinnati Royals will also be getting a rebirth as the old team from the 50s rejoins the NBA here in 2016. We will be taking over the San Diego Surf as there you see our owner Kendrick Price. Important is money, not so important as team success, which is definitely going to help us on out, especially early on in this franchise. We try to build up our franchise team from nothing. This is our initial meeting with him, and it was good to find out that most of the things he wanted were things that were all things I think we can accomplish. The one thing we weren't sure on is if we could draft a team of 25 or younger from the expansion draft just because I do want to compete and we want to look at maybe a couple of veterans out there to add some stability to the lineup. So I wasn't sure if we could come in under 25. So I told him we might, what he said was fair, but everything else was definitely stuff that was reasonable. We needed to accomplish within three years, um, adding, you know, a quality CEO scouting department, stuff like that. Here you see our budget at 102 million, uh, plenty of room for staff payroll. So we should have, a relatively easy job in getting everything done that he wants to get done for us. So I think we're in a good spot early on with our owner. We are going to use the 2016 draft classes. We are redoing the off season from the beginning. I'm going to overdo everything. So some guys are going to wind up in some new spots, but it's going to give us an opportunity to add a quality player in the draft, which is definitely something that we're open to league meetings is one of those things that i kind of wish wasn't a part of this franchise if you're going to start back at the beginning of the season there weren't any significant rule changes if they were they're already been implemented don't go into the first season and add those i'd rather they wait until after your first season to do that honestly the draft lottery is something that i kind of feel the same about i wish that would have kind of left everybody's pick the same but just put the four expansion teams in there from you know, picks four to seven, but at the same time, if you're having expansion teams that could have shifted things, you know, you, you're, you're shaking up the universe. So I get it. It's okay. We can live with it. Uh, league meetings, everything was rejected. Uh, thankfully, um, foul out rule and uh, going to bonus after just three fouls. I, I definitely wasn't a big fan of those, but those actually came pretty close to 26 votes needed for approval. But thankfully, all of them got. Uh, turned down so we won't have any new rules this year in the NBA which is uh, a good thing for us as we get used to uh, the way things were and we'll see what happens in the next offseason two years till the next CBA so anything can happen draft lottery is redone as we talked about there you see the Sixers with the 25% chance of getting the number one pick Lakers need to keep a top three pick otherwise they're going to lose that pick to Philly which could really be a big boon for Philly Celtics uh, projected number three everything kind of goes about as planned here for the first few spots in the draft lottery but once we get down here to pick number 13 things shake up a little bit the Nuggets with the 1.6 percent chance of landing the top pick they move into the top three which is going to drop Sacramento back so the Nuggets going from 13 to the top three. And then you see uh, the Raptors and Pelicans. Everything else went okay for the next couple. And then at pick number nine, we get another shakeup as the Phoenix Suns were projected here. They actually were going to be number four until the expansion teams dropped all the way back to nine, which means the Celtics get that pick. Uh, Celtics would have had the number nine pick, but now they wind up taking that pick. 76ers because of the Suns and Nuggets moving up they actually get the Lakers pick so now they're going to get a top three pick and the number eight pick uh, so lots of craziness happening with the lottery here you see our surf we get the worst of the four picks there of the expansion teams lining up number seven good news is we get the number one pick in the expansion draft but I probably would have rather had the number four pick in the NBA draft if they feel like we could have got a better player but we're gonna have to work with it and see how it goes Cincinnati gets the six pick Seattle number five which leaves the Baltimore Barons at number four the first 
of the expansion teams that will be drafted in this draft. So top three here. Don't know why it shows the Suns there as projected for number three, but actually Philadelphia is going to get the third pick. So that means that the Suns and Nuggets are in the top two. Philly drops back to number three, but they do also pick up the number eight pick from LA. So they do drop back a couple spots, but they pick up the Lakers pick. So you could say, well, don't shed a tear for Philly. They're still going to get plenty of picks. They actually got four first round picks, as we'll see here in a minute. Suns actually going to get the number two pick, which means that the Denver Nuggets jump all the way up from number 13 to number one in the draft. So that's going to be interesting. Do they go Ben Simmons or they go somewhere else? Nuggets jumping all the way up to number one. I believe they have three first round picks here. We'll actually see the recap here in a second. So definitely a shakeup in the draft. There you see it. 76ers with four first round picks, two in the top eight. And then the Nuggets have three picks in the first round. They get 23, 19, and then number one. So definitely going to be a franchising uh, change there for the Nuggets as they're going to get three first round picks. So definitely going to be interesting to see how that goes. In the next episode, we are going to go over the staff signings and the expansion draft. You'll see who's going to be the players here playing with the San Diego Surf in season number one. So definitely be sure to hit that subscribe and like button and tune back in for that one. We will see you here next time.